Massachusetts court grants temporary protection order against Ezra Miller. Well, I guess it's time for another Ezra Miller video. Didn't know it was going to be that fast. He is the Flash, after all. Was. So just last week, I had made an Ezra Miller video out of nowhere. I just wanted to get to the bottom of the story. I dropped it, didn't think anything of it, and lo and behold, another parent wanted court protection against Ezra Miller. So I figured I better make an update for you guys and, uh, you know, deep dive into this situation even further. Yay! But first, I would like to do a little house cleaning. Now, in the last video, I made a few mistakes, and I have been told I need to atone for those. So I would like to sincerely tell each and every person that cares deeply about the pronouns of Ezra Miller to please go up to the corner. You see up there in the corner, there's a big X button on your screen. Go ahead and click that, close the video, and go f yourself. Now, let's continue. June 17th, the day after my last video. Massachusetts courts grants temporary protection order against actor Ezra Miller. The actor has now been asked to appear in court in two states after parents accuse him of grooming, abuse, and intimidation involving a non-binary child. Seems to be a trend here. Now this is a separate parent. A separate parent from the story that I told you about last week with Gibson Ironside. That is still ongoing. There's still a court hearing on July 12th, I believe. Now, this is a completely different child. This is a 12-year-old child right now. A Massachusetts mother has been granted a temporary order of protection on behalf of her 12-year-old child against Ezra Miller, the 29-year-old actor who stars in the upcoming Warner Brothers superhero movie, The Flash. And I will get to that uno momento. The court order issued Wednesday by the Greenfield District Court in Massachusetts and has been seen by NBC News said it was issued without advance notice because the court determined that there is a substantial likelihood of immediate danger of harassment. That is the court saying that. The order does not contain any allegations against Miller, though. The mother, who spoke on the condition that their names be withheld out of privacy concerns, she and her child met Miller in February through an acquaintance. She said Miller was first seemed friendly, but that she soon grew suspicious of Miller's friendship with her child. Yeah, I would be suspicious too. My child is a 12 year old. Why is an adult trying to hang out with my 12 year old? It gets weirder. She told the judge that Miller offered to buy the child gifts, including a horse even after she rejected Miller's earlier offers. Now, this is similar to the last story where Miller paid for tuition to private school, flew them out to London, gave them drugs and alcohol. See, groomer stuff. You give them gifts. You love bomb them until they submit to everything you want them to do. I would like to remind you that Ezra Miller tried to sleep in the same bed as a 14-year-old, allegedly. I kept wondering why Ezra Miller was here. Like... Don't you have Hollywood stuff to do? Don't you have, like, movies coming out? Yeah, what are you doing? You're an adult. What are you doing? The order of protection first reported by the Daily Beast adds that there is now a three-month series of allegations directed at Miller that started with disorderly conduct charges in Hawaii and has since grown to include accusations from parents of child grooming. The allegations against Miller have also prompted online fur pitting Miller's aggressive fan base that maintains his innocence against people calling for the authorities and Warner Brothers to take action. Now, speaking of Warner Brothers taking action, let's move on to the next part. Deadline! Zaslov's first movie crisis, what to do with Ezra Miller. The erratic star of Warner Brothers' 200 million Flash franchise launch. Yikes, Warner Brothers. Yikes, indeed. If you didn't watch it, he was also in the Fantastic Beasts movie that just came out, and now he's about to be in the Flash movie. It seems to be a little iffy if he's going to be continuing as the titular character. Even though it isn't on the Warner Brothers release calendar until June 23rd of 2023, The Flash is becoming Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslov's first movie crisis. Because of the escalating coverage of incidents of volatile and odd behavior involving the film's star, Ezra Miller. I would say possibly grooming multiple children is a little bit more than odd behavior, Deadline. Maybe you upgrade that to like creep behavior, illegal behavior, possibly map behavior. I don't think it's odd, you know? You know, going out on the red carpet, like wearing a face of yourself, that's odd, okay? And that's fine. If you want to be a crazy actor and you want to go out there and do stuff, that's fine. Grooming children 
and beating people at bars definitely not not odd let's hear from a studio inside source there's no winning in this for warner brothers this is an inherited problem for zasloff the hope is that the scandal will remain at a low level before the movie is released and hope for the best to turn out good luck warner brothers good luck on that front because this seems to be escalating not reducing you are hollywood so i'm not surprised that you would just go ahead and have a groomer be the star of your movie but just given the current climate with people not enjoying hollywood at the moment because of stuff like this maybe you just err on the side of uh let's uh let's let's boot the old new flash sources said even if no more allegations surface the studio won't likely keep miller in the flash role in future dc films that would mean replacing him in the future but there is still a 200 million dollar investment on the line with the first film and warner brothers execs have to be cringing at each new press report. I would be cringing as well, but this is like part and parcel with DC Films and Warner Brothers as a whole. They just seem to continue to fuck up their own shit. And that leads me to the next part. So as all this is happening, allegations have already been out for a while. This is what DC Comics decides to make their variant cover for Flash, The Fastest Man Alive. That's a big yikes from me, dog. If I was the editor, I would just say, yeah, let's not, you know, let's not do this. Let's not put a half-naked Ezra Miller on the cover of a comic book that is made for general audiences, but pretty marketed towards children. I think a possible child predator might not be the best person to put half-naked on your cover. Just me, I, I may be just insane. But those were the few updates that I wanted to give. My last video did really well. I happened to just drop it at the perfect time, I guess. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. I don't know. Again, let me know in the comments below your best guesses where Ezra Miller is hiding right now. Wrong answers only. Like the video, subscribe. Thank you to all of the channel members. And until next time, Ezra Miller is a he and go fuck yourself. Thank you, channel members. I love every single one of you, Chads. This is the Chad Show. It's after the video where most everybody clicked away, but you didn't click away. You stayed here. That's right. All right, Marty Art, you Chad. Garth Call, you Chad. I love you, bro. Dex Luther, you Chad. I am Groot, Chad. James King, Chad. Arkansas, Chad. Daniel, Chad. Robert Wiles, we already know you, Chad. Hatchet, Chad. Darth Vader, Chad, Dean H, Chad, Jeff K, Chad. There's so many of you guys. I love you so much. Angry Goat, Chad. Ian, so forth, you Chad. Cole Freak, fuck you, but thank you to everybody else.